The words pure Michigan probably make you think of our beautiful beaches or stunning sunsets, but there's something else that sets us apart and you might not have even noticed. That's right. So many colorful birds live in Michigan. You know, we take them for granted, but when one woman moved here from Germany, she was so impressed, she started to take pictures and ended up capturing the personalities of her backyard visitors. <laughs> I think Michiganders are very uh, nature connected and they love what they have here in this state. Lisa's backyard is a wildlife paradise, like a spa retreat with buffets and a fountain bath. But there's not much privacy for the creatures who come by to take advantage of the amenities. At every luxury offering, there's likely to be a camera set up to capture their everyday lives. It's very meticulously planned too because, for example, I don't want to have um, squirrels on my feeders. I have measured out the exact distance from house or bushes or vegetation that they cannot jump from in order to get to the feeder. So everything is kind of like where it needs to be. It started with still cameras, then expanded to video too. Photos are nice, but when you see behavior in motion, it gives you a different insight into what is actually happening. Lisa's cameras see inside the avian world around us, like who prefers what food, who's pairing up, and who's throwing down, which birds are passing through on their semi-annual migration, and who's here to stay. Each has its own charm, which comes across in Lisa's photos, like morning doves, always hungry and ready to work their angles. They're interesting for me because they take very good pictures. Like sometimes I say that morning doves go to posing school <laughs> because they're just like, they do that a lot. Blue Jays are smart and great mimics. They often sound the alarm if a hawk is nearby by imitating the hawk's call. They look all alike, but they are not. Each individual has different face markings. They actually recognize and identify each other by their face marks. Our state bird, the robin, prefers feeding on the ground. I like how they walk across the backyard, the lawn, like a patrolling teacher in recess. I love how they feed their babies. They are part of why I don't like to use chemicals or pesticides in my backyard because I know they are crawling all over the place eating the insects. Robins love to take baths, as do starlings, so much that Lisa once put up a sign hoping it would help with crowd control at the pool. Unfortunately, starlings can't read, and they don't think much of rules anyway. Cardinals are on the shy side and tend to appear when there's not much other traffic. A good time to see them is usually early in the morning or late in the evening. They are like the first and the last ones to come. That's like cardinal hour is the first and the last hour of daylight. That's when they feed. Common grackles are one of my favorite birds because they're just so expressive and they are very photogenic too. They can be goofy, majestic, gorgeous, but also look hilarious when they molt especially. I've heard of, from many people that they say they found a new love for grackles because of my photos, so that makes me a little proud. Bluebirds are Lisa's favorite. In fact, her website name, Ostdrossel, is a rough translation for bluebird in German. She built a custom nest box for her resident couple, and they used it to raise 14 babies this season alone. We are now in year seven of continuous bluebird nesting. They have raised a lot of babies here, which makes me insanely proud that it worked out so far because I feel like I'm populating the neighborhood with bluebirds because who, who doesn't need more bluebirds, right? The cameras catch other critters occasionally, frogs, foxes, a raccoon and a skunk sharing a midnight snack, an owl freshening up at night, and once a totally random pig. I end up with up to 25,000 photos per camera. In the evening, I go through all of them and figure out uh, which two or three I want to keep. <laughs> so that's a lot of time invested into the photo selection. And some days I don't even have anything. I have 50,000 photos and I don't find anything that is interesting or attractive. The photos and videos she posts get a lot of attention on her own website, social media, and even in print. I like birds because they are entertaining. 
it never gets boring and they just make me happy it makes me happy to see them sometimes i just like if i have a bad day or something i just look outside and then i see a goofy bluebird baby or um, a blue jay yelling uh, and i'm just like relaxing it eases my mind Lisa's work has been featured on popular sites from Board Panda to the Dodo. Bette Midler has even used her photos as her profile pictures. Talk about bragging rights right there. We have a link to where you can find Ost Drossel on the All for Pets page at clickondetroit.com.